The Catholic Church has been at the centre of Polish life for centuries. More recently, a major influence in the anti-communist solidarity movement and, of course, it gave the world a pope. It is a church now in a state of moral crisis and decline that some believe could be terminal. The bishops don't seem to realize how deep this crisis is. They are too attached to their luxuries and palaces. The decline is very steep, I think even vertical. As a 12-year-old altar boy in the 1980s, Janusz Szymik was sexually abused by his parish priest. It went on for five years. Vivid and disturbing testimony presented to his area bishop in 1993 was at first ignored and then, he says, covered up. In pre-trial hearings ahead of a civil case being heard next month, the church questioned Janusz's own sexuality and whether he might actually have enjoyed the abuse. An internal church investigation sentenced his abuser to a period of reflection and prayer. I continue to be in psychological and psychiatric treatment. I think I will suffer until the end of my life because these memories cannot be erased from my mind. Father Andrei Kobolinski is a lecturer at Warsaw's Catholic University. I asked him if enough was being done to address the crisis. Not at all, not at all, not at all, unfortunately. Um, it is very upsetting, uh, but there is no uh, courage uh, to answer uh, uh, to all these challenges. Allegations of historic sexual abuse by Catholic priests have been piling up as the issue has gained prominence and exposure since 2019 and claims of negligence by the church hierarchy have led to the official censure of a dozen Polish bishops in what the church describes as a process of purification. But that's done nothing to prevent a collapse in the numbers who regularly attend Mass, especially among the young. In a country that officially classifies 90% of its population as Catholic, among young people with more liberal attitudes to things like abortion, divorce and LGBT rights, less than 10% have a positive view of the Church. I think it's impossible to church, for Church to have any future uh, if they continue to uh, say things like the uh, like they're saying now, um, because like times are changing, people are changing. Nowadays, church doesn't live up to uh, the the um, the times we are living now, and just stays backwards. To people like Kasia, the church is an institution with dwindling relevance in their lives, a faith in freefall here in Poland. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Warsaw.